I'm Ralston Dorn, and I work as a paramedic for Adeptus Health in the ER. It's a small community ER. We have anywhere between about six to nine beds. Hello, Skelly. Estelle, ready to come back? Yes. I help out the physician, nurse, and the radiology technologist with various tasks that they may need. Can you bring your hands above your head? When I'm not on the clock, I do the typical things that guys my age do. Hang out with a girlfriend, go to movies, um, hang out with friends, that sort of thing. But most recently, I've gotten into hunting. I come from a family line of hunters. And I'm the only one that hasn't been hunting. <laughs> hey, good morning. Hey, Ralston? Yes, sir. Hey, Are you Justin? Justin? And my middle name is Hunter, nice ironically you. enough. Welcome to East Lake. My dad used to hunt, but then when I was about 10 years old, he quit. And so for the last 21 years, no one in my immediate family has ever hunted. And so I said, I want to finally break that cycle, so I found this through the Parks and Wildlife and signed up for it. This mentored hunting program is for adults. We have lots of youth hunting programs around the state. Our own Texas Youth Hunting Program that takes lots of kids hunting, but there just aren't that many opportunities for adults. So this is an opportunity for them to come out, take part in a hunt, learn from experienced hunters, and uh, be able to take those skills back to their friends and family so that they can go hunting. Prior to today, no one had ever shot a deer. We're all newbies. One guy's an electrical engineer. I work in healthcare, obviously, as a paramedic. Another guy, I can't remember what he does, he's uh, from Egypt. So I think it's a wide range of backgrounds and applications. What a beautiful tree, wow. Yeah, we had uh, Kristen out here. She went out and hunt with a guide, and from what I understand, she doesn't even come from a hunting background, but it was pretty cool to see her get out here and to try something new. <laughs> we are hot on the right. We just took the participants through some hunter education activities, including live firing exercise. They all sighted in their firearms, which is one of those things that every hunter needs to do responsibly before a hunt. We had some fun just shooting 22s and getting familiar with other types of firearms. The first day we went over uh, kind of the ethics of hunting, when to shoot, when not to shoot. We wouldn't want to shoot at that because that's a ricochet shot. You know, the actual shooting or harvesting of the deer is, is probably 1% of the hunt. If all the teeth were worn out, of course, it'd be seven and a half, eight and a half in the wild. You know, what you do afterwards, aging it, feeling their teeth, and uh, kind of figuring out how old the deer is, and then the process of cleaning it and processing it. Real fatty. I think it was eating some pecans up there. <laughs> Jesse Griffiths is a very well-known Austin wild game chef and uh, volunteered his time and came out, cooked dinner for us, then gave us a butchery demo yesterday. It's fat. It has very little flavor and it you can just use it to wrap things in. And then when you grill it, that stuff just shrinks up around it and gets crispy. Yeah. So we got some wild boar carnitas, uh, some beans, uh, tortillas, and there's two different salsas over there. Both of them are probably gonna be pretty spicy. Did he get a bite? I'm very excited, very proud. Uh, got my first deer and it was great. The biggest thing before taking the shot was my adrenaline started pumping. And at one point I told, I looked over and I told Justice, I said, my heart is racing. And he goes, all right. He goes, we'll just hang out for a second, slow down. Okay, she's broadside. Whenever you have a good shot, go ahead and take it. Got it. Good shot, man. Great shot. Had I gone hunting, you know, with my uncle or cousin, I'm sure I could have maybe gotten a deer, but I don't think I would have learned nearly as much after the shot or before the shot as I did here. Who should take a mentored hunt? People who are self-reliant, resourceful, want to know where their meat comes from, you know, not just trust a FDA stamp at a supermarket. The organic food movement, I mean, there's nothing more organic than harvesting your own animal 
out in the wild on public property. There's a large group of people, especially in that millennial age group, you know, somewhere between 25 to 40, that in an increasingly urbanized United States and Texas especially, that just doesn't have that ability to go out somewhere. They don't know people. There's a huge market for it, and it's a necessary market to help get them involved because they can be the next set of volunteers and just, you know, renew that cycle over. After completing hunter education, getting a hunting license, time to show up here, and the only other piece of paper they have to have is a mentored hunting permit. So you went down this way? Yeah. So I consider this a pretty great life skill to be able to go and you know provide meat for your family and uh, now they've got that skill and they can take that and teach it to their kids and pass it on yeah i'm gonna take my kids my daughter really wants to go she would be she would probably push me out of the way to do all this she's 15. mentors if y'all or the deep mentors if you're a harry potter fan mentors one two three time strap <laughs> I started sent my father a picture saying, hey, because um, I used his gun to kind of keep the family tradition alive. So he's really happy. He's wanting, he told me, he said, all right, now I, he goes, I expect deer meat for Christmas presents. So. <laughs> it was great. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a deer on my side, but had a amazing mentor who just basically walked me through every step of it. The staff here was great. It was quite an experience. It was something that, you know, if anybody else out there really wanted to do, I would highly recommend it. It took the scary away from hunting. It took kind of the unknown. Sometimes we fear things that we don't know and we aren't really too knowledgeable about. And for me, it kind of gave me that knowledge to make me a little bit more comfortable, I guess. That's the best part of it right there. Thank you very much. You bet, man. It was a pleasure. Pleasure is mine. Absolutely. I'll see you back one day. Yeah, definitely. Yay. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> I've gone back and done deer hunting. I harvested a deer this past hunting season with a bow, and then I've also gotten big into duck hunting. I had made deer chili for her in the crock pot, and she said it was amazing. Said it was the best chili she's ever had. This project was funded in part by a grant from the Wildlife Restoration Program.